Good morning, beautiful people of the internet, especially YouTube. Today it is Sunday and it is football everywhere. Like, I think that today the 49ers play and my husband is going to be watching the game with his friends and so on. I am sorry, I'm not a football woman, girl type of situation. He is going to enjoy the games with his friends and my boy also my son so I'm not doing that instead I'm gonna go to a lamp place it's a place where they sell lights and lamps and so on because I want to replace this monstrosity <laughs> that thing that is so horrible and it has been there since we bought the house so my mission today is to find a chandelier or some kind of a light to replace a that fan. My husband was like, okay, but what is going to happen when it's a summer and we want air? I was like, you can turn on the AC. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> because I am running errands, I am very comfortable. I'm wearing jeans. These jeans are from uh, Lee. <laughs> I bought them on Amazon, size 6, and these are the ones that I'm wearing today, and what else I'm wearing? Oh, I'm wearing the Everlane tank top, love those ones so much, and then my Aritzia lightweight puffer, Samba sneakers, and today I'm going to be wearing, I don't know what bag, probably my Kelly, probably my Kelly because it has this, the shoulder strap that is very, very convenient. I am wearing my ring from Italo. <laughs> if I do this, I'm not going to see it. I'm wearing my ring from Italo. It has a lot of bling bling. And I am wearing the tennis bracelet also from Italo Jewelry. I think the code, the 20% off is still working. Oh, what do I have here? I have been talking to you with this. <laughs> it's because I ate a cookie, so I have a cookie crumble. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing that. Then I'm gonna stop by H and M. But no, by <laughs> I'm gonna stop by H and M. I'm gonna check the new releases. I'm going to try some clothes because I need to take a couple photos for a blog post that I am doing for H and M. And then what else? Oh, very important. I need to stop by Sephora because my son ran out of uh, the ordinary the cleanser. And he told me that I should buy the moisturizer as well. So that's that. And since it was my birthday, my birthday was on Thursday, I'm going to get my birthday little samples that they give you at Sephora. So that's the intention. Now what else? I think that's it. We have a full day of running errands, not errands, but fun stuff to do this Sunday. With that being said, let's get started this beautiful vlog. I am here looking for my bag. I'm gonna grab the bag that is right there. In fact, let's do it. But I'm gonna give you your doses of muffin. She's taking a sunbath. Yeah, you're cute. You're very, very cute. Now you're gonna take in a shower? Hmm. She knows that she cannot go and sleep on my couch, so she sleeps over there. You're a good gato. You're a good gato. Wait until I leave, right? I'm gonna be gone and you're gonna be sleeping there. You're just doing this so I can tell you that you're a good, good cat. Hmm. Pretend that you're not listening. Okay, let me just uh, grab my bag. This is the bag that I'm gonna be wearing today. My Kelly 28, I need to clean here, I know. And then I have my YSL and Prada there. I need to move them. But anyway, that's what we have. So this is what we are wearing today. And since it has this strap, I'm gonna be using it crossbody.
we are here at Lam Plus and I just took my jacket off because it's so hot. It is probably almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is crazy because a week ago I was suffering in New York with temperatures on the 25 degrees. So let's check the lamps and see if I can find a cute chandelier for my room. more confused because they have a lot of options and they have really cute stuff over there I think I'm gonna go to World's Market and see what kind of lamps they have over there I don't think that they're going to have as many inventory as Lamp Plus has but I'm really closer to it so I'm just gonna go and stop by but know what I'm looking for so I think that I need to continue painting and Pinterest and getting more ideas because right now I'm very confused very very confused now we're gonna go to Sephora because I need to buy the moisturizer and cleanser from the ordinary for a cutter and because we're speaking about cutter it's going to be story time probably this chat can help somebody I don't know whom but probably can save somebody who is dealing with acne so you know cutter you know cutter he is 15 years old he just turned 15 this December 30 and unfortunately he has well he had severe acne on this area of his face you're gonna see photo here and I'm just covering his eyes because I don't want that he feels embarrassed or he feels bad about about this so I don't want that he be recognized um, so yes he has well he had really bad acne and nothing was helping him we went to uh, to see two dermatologists the second one she gave him chemicals Accutane 
and he used i mean he took the pills for three weeks and his skin was so bad guys like the worst ever after taking the medication so uh, it was pretty insane and he's a teenager so can you imagine his self-confidence like zero confidence he was very desperate and his skin was full of these pimples with white heads and red heads and all, all everything in between to the point that he was unable to put his face on the pillow because it was super sore so he couldn't go to sleep like this touching his cheeks on the pillow because it was so sore to the touch it was very bad and this was taking the medication and the medication was making him well making his skin worse three weeks with the medication and he saw that his skin was getting worse and he talked to us he pretty much asked us for help he's like mom dad i really need your help we i want to get rid of this nobody has this acne as worse as me and it's pretty embarrassed to go to school blah 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 so it was very uh, touchy so because you don't want to see your your kids uh, suffering right so that's it my husband and i said that's it whatever we're doing we're gonna stop it and we're gonna be doing things different we stopped with the medication and we talk about not taking him with the dermatologist anymore and we start educating ourselves about acne so my husband started reading i started reading i started watching youtube videos i started watching a bunch of youtube videos from people that got acne and they were sharing their experience how how to get rid of the acne and so on in my search i found a video from a girl that is i'm going to link it in the description box below and she was sharing her experience about how nothing was helping her acne either and that the only thing that saved her was somebody from instagram i believe i don't remember if this person is a dermatologist it must be some skin specialist or something uh was it a nurse i don't remember so she contacted this person through instagram and this person recommended to take an intolerance and allergy test and this girl took it and she found out that she was allergic to a bunch of things she was allergic to soy peas whatever and she eliminated those from her diet and her skin started improving i was like okay we're doing that for cutters so the good thing is that she linked the test because it's um yeah, you do it yourself they send you the test to your home and you pinch yourself you put your blood a sample five dots and send the sample to them and then a week later you receive the results she linked the 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 company she doesn't know that she helped cut her i need to talk to her i need to say thank you to her because thanks to that video that's what trigger that cutter his skin is getting better and better let me tell you so i ordered the test is a link and they have different options i choose the maximum uh, foods and things that you can try that you can test uh, to see if you are intolerant intolerant or allergic i i bought the, the the max so i bought that for cutter and yeah like three days later we received the test like a box with the test and then you pinch yourself on the finger you um, put that five dots of sample and uh, you send the sample through mail and then a week later we receive the results cutter is allergic to eggs he's allergic to meat he's allergic to soy gluten uh what else uh, lactose intolerance and so on so the 
only thing that he can eat pretty much is uh, seafood and some vegetables, some fruits and so on. But we need to be very careful what he is eating. And what we did is that we eliminate those foods from his diet and we saw results of his skin improving three weeks later. It was so fast. We were feeding Carter eggs and meat every day because he's a teenager. He needs eggs, he needs protein, he needs meat so he can he can grow strong and smart and so on. But we didn't know that he was allergic to eggs and some of the foods that we were given to him it was not good for him at the end. The learning here is that don't pay attention to other people that are, is telling you that this is healthy for you because you need proof. You need scientific proof what you are tolerant or and not in order to make the smart choices. That was so crazy for us. That was an eye opening for us and that's crazy so so crazy two months later you're gonna see pictures of a Carter's skin his skin is improving he doesn't have the white pimples anymore he doesn't have those redness he's able to sleep on his pillow now he is not um, sore anymore he doesn't have pain anymore his self-confidence has increased tremendously and that was just with food with food so whatever we eat affect us I'm going to link the test in the description box below I did it myself as well the results came back and you're not gonna believe it I'm allergic to rice I'm Mexican. I eat rice all the time. Well, guess what? I am allergic to rice. I'm not eating rice. I'm allergic to almonds. I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm allergic to cashews. I'm allergic to potatoes. I'm allergic to peas. I'm allergic to a bunch of stuff. The good news is that uh, I'm allergic to eggs, same as Carter. Carter is allergic to eggs. So we cannot eat eggs and there is no more eggs at home. <laughs> so I'm taking care of myself. Oh, I'm intolerant to wheat and yeah. So a bunch of things. So now I'm taking care of myself with scientific proof. And that's the message guys, that's the message. If you have somebody who is struggling with acne, I highly recommend that you take that test. It's probably uh, being caused by something that you are eating and obviously cleaning and all the exterior counts, but you need to tackle from the inside. Acne is a symptom, it's a symptom that is coming from your gut. That's what we learn. The proof is my son and uh, yeah so now we learn something and I just wanted to share this information with you you're free to take it or not I'm just going to link the the link of the test in the description box below for you because if you're struggling with this type of things acne or some other illness and you don't know what's happening most likely you are intolerant most likely you are allergic and if you take the test you're gonna find out and just eliminate those foods from your from your diet and monitor yourself if you see an improvement well guess what and that was the the root cause right okay so after this deep talk <laughs> we're gonna go to sephora and i'm gonna buy the ordinary the moisturizer and the cleanser and by the way we're using the ordinary because those are very affordable products they were selling us some products with almost the same ingredients guys and they want us that we blow a hundred dollars each the moisturizer and another 80 bucks for the for the cleanser 
There is no need. There is no need to spend a lot of money. That's crazy. So, so crazy. So the ordinary is helping us. The ordinary also, I'm buying the density drops for the hair. I use them every day and I feel that is helping me and it's helping me with my hair loss right yeah so that's it all right let's uh talking and i'm gonna stop by sephora and i'm going to buy the stuff that i need for carter and i'm gonna ah, it was my birthday also that means that i need to choose my birthday they give you a birthday samples <laughs> all right let's do that here in H&M look at this that's so cute that sweater is so cute pants acceptable as well some heels slim bags yes oh denim over denim I'm not sure about that but the skirt looks okay looks pretty nice <gasps> look at this a great coat yeah H&M knows how to make coats at really affordable prices and high quality love all the stuff with all this yes and what else we have here a blazer another denim skirt and a cute bag over there all right let's get it in
Okay, guys, so I am here in the fitting rooms of H&M. The music is super loud, so I decided to go ahead with a voiceover. But I'm going to try these two sweaters that look like tweed. Their size is small. One is black color. This one is more like a grayish color with these metal bottoms. And the price is just $25.99. Then I'm gonna try this off the shoulder. It has this, it's like a milky color with black stripes. The price is $29.99 and I'm trying the size small. The next item that I have here is a print dress on this beige and black colors. The size is extra small and the price is $28.99. I'm going to move the clothes from here to here because I want to show you the blazer. Yes, I'm going to try the blazer again. I think it's really well made and I'm going to try it on again. Next, I do have this puffer vest that is more like a crop. It's crop. The price is $26.99 and I'm going to try the size small. It has pockets here and then the zipper. Yes, so I'm gonna try it on. Next, I have a cotton blouse that they have these puffy sleeves and this little bit plum. And this ones are $17.99, guys. The price is very affordable. I'm trying the size small on the black color. And then I'm gonna try the white color on. Uh, same thing, it has the peplum design, but this one has a little tiny lace on the hems. So you can see there, it's a pullover, it has an elastic at the, at the slip section. And I believe this one has a zipper on the side, so you can put it on very easy. And then I have this white cotton shirt as well. This one has this lace or ruffles everywhere, it's super feminine. I think this will look perfect with the jeans. This one is a uh, small, and as you can see, it has bottoms here at the back. Here is the beautiful blazer from H&M and this one is so good. It has a lining, I love the length and it's a little bit oversized but it's, it's decent, it's really good. Here it is the cardigan slash top because it's not made of real neat. It is made of polyester and it's mimicking a tweed it's okay it looks really nice with a jeans size up because i feel that is it fits a little bit small especially if you want a little bit of more of a length size up here it is the off the shoulder knit this one is lightweight and it's very very stretchy love it i highly recommend this one I need to be very honest with you, but I was underestimating this puffer vest. Once that I put it on, I highly recommend. It's really good. The only con is that it's on the crop side, so if you are looking for more length, size up. Next, I have the print dress. This one is a midi dress. I am 5'7 for your reference, and it hits just mid calf. It has long sleeves, it's very flowy, it's made of polyester, so take that into consideration. I think it will look better with a belt, but it gives you the versatility to wear it with a belt, with a belt, depending on the occasion. Oh guys, I think this blouse is going to make me break my promise of no purchases on January. Like seriously, it's so good. I love the puffy sleeve. I love the peplum design. It has a zipper on one side, so it's easy to put it on. The only con that I see is that it's on the short side. So if you want to wear it without showing the skin of your tummy, I highly recommend that you wear it with high-waisted trousers, high-waisted skirts, a high-waisted bottom so you avoid showing the skin of your tummy. The next one that we have is this beautiful 100% cotton blouse. This one has a bottoms at the back, so it was a little bit difficult to put it on because I don't have anybody to help me <laughs> to button up all the bottoms that this one has. 
But other than that, it's a beautiful shirt. I think it looks really good with jeans or any type of trouser. Loving the ruffles and loving the lace. I think it's a very feminine top that can be worn on many, many ways. Here is the black version of the previously shown blouse with the puffy sleeves and the ruffle at the bottom. The peplum design with the zipper on one side so it's easy to put it on. What to say about this one? I love black and I am loving this blouse so for sure I'm gonna buy it. Again, if you're looking for not showing the tummy, I highly recommend that you wear this one with high-waisted trousers or high-waisted skirts. Good morning, beautiful people. So it is a week later and I'm trying to finish this video, editing and all because my plan is that this video is going to go live on Thursday. We'll see. And for that reason, we want to show you what I bought at Sephora and what I bought at H&M. So it's going to be an H&M try on haul slash Sephora haul. <laughs> Why my camera is so bright? Here you go. Is it better? I don't know. I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. From H&M, I bought two items. Can you guess? Exactly. I bought the two cotton blouses with the peplum design, this ones. And yes, um, I have been steaming this because I wanted to show you this blouse is very presentable. And I bought the black color. This one is $17.99. I couldn't resist. The price is so good. And the blouse is so feminine. I bought the black color and I bought the white color. These ones will look amazing with jeans, and that's my plan. Spring is coming, so I'm getting ready. And I'm thinking that I'm going to be wearing this to go to the office as well. Okay, let's talk about my steamer. My steamer is the best. I am always steaming clothes, and this guy makes my life so easy. I'm going to link it in the description box below as well. Then this sephora let's go ahead with the sephora hole in fact i'm gonna sit down here and uh let's do the sephora hole i move the couch we have the light so and it's raining today that's why my hair is like so like yeah every time it rains my hair loves the humidity and it just goes really puffy uh, yesterday was wash day and i'm feeling good about my hair if you want an update, depending on how many people want the update, I'm just gonna go ahead and record a video of the hair. If nobody cares, well, there is no point <laughs> to record the video because that's a lot of effort. Let's proceed with the Sephora haul. Obviously, I bought what my son wanted. I bought the cleanser and I bought the moisturizer. The cleanser is not the same as the one that he wanted that he was using before they were out this one and he said that there is not change so he likes it and then the moisturizer obviously this is the one that he uses daily basis and uh, yeah so I bought a backup for him and then I bought this one that I have not used it but this one is the ordinary 100% organic gold press rose hip seed oil so this oil it seems that you apply it before the makeup or before um, when you are gonna apply your moisturizer so I'm gonna try it because I'm very curious this is how it looks can you smell it? Ah, it doesn't smell like anything that's what I bought, so I'm going to try this and then I'm going to report the results. And then I bought the Ordinary in the Serum Multipeptides. This is for the eyelashes. I like that it has a little brush, so it's easy to apply on your eyelashes. So just boom, boom. Every night I'm doing that. 
I applied this one and I applied Latis as well, like like every other day. They take turns and so on. Uh, Latis is good, but what I realize is that the next day my eyes are really red. I don't have the red, the redness on my eyes with this one, honestly. But to be fair, I only use this once. So I need to use it more to see if I have a reaction with my eyes. That is, I use it like every other day, every time that I remember, because I forget, I forget to apply it every night. But when I apply it, I, I feel that my eyes look red. And people say it like, oh, your eyes are red. And I'm like, yeah, because I use like this, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> then I bought the Dior La Bombe bought a bunch of them to give them away on my blog and I did but I ran out of these ones for me so I just bought a one it's very bougie just to have it there just for the looks when you open your bag boom you have this little guy and it's so cute right and then because it was my birthday they gave me my samples for my birthday and I chose the youth to the people it has the cleanser with green tea, a moisturizer, and a serum. I tried the serum already and eh, it's okay. I'm not impressed, but yeah. I tried the cleanser as well, that's why I'm not only showing you the box. I tried the cleanser as well and eh, it's okay as well. And the moisturizer, eh, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing that is like, whoa, okay, oh my 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 skin is super moisturizer and that type of thing all right guys so i'm going to leave this vlog here as always thank you so much for watching and if you have more time and if you want to continue watching more of my videos guess what you can click here or here and i'll see you there